Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jay here, and you guys saw it, and I saw it. OnePlus Nord has been revealed. Re revealed. 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 Has been. What's up, guys? It's Jay. You guys saw it, and I saw it. The OnePlus Nord has been revealed. Finally, with only a few days left, they finally dropped it with a video with MKBHD. Um, they're doing like this partnership stuff, all this marketing, also with Jerry Rig, everything. They're kind of like going all out with uh, typical people, you know, D brand, all these like big influencer people. But for just the normal people like you and me, this is the first time we're seeing it. So I'm sure they already actually have been using the device too. They're just kind of marketing all this stuff. But wanted to just get my uh, reaction and thoughts about the new product. Um, it's not going to be released in the U.S., North America anytime soon. Um, they're going to be doing Indian launch and a European launch. So hopefully I might be able to get my hands on it. Um, let me know in the comments down below um, if you guys want to see that. Um, and then be sure to subscribe. So the first thing um, that Carl Pei, who was on the, on the video, I'll drop the link down below. Um, they talked about the Snapdragon. 700 series being able to keep up with 800 series um, you know besides for like intense 3d gaming and so i don't know if i still believe that i think that um qualcomm still has ways to go before uh, being able to deliver mid-range performance to be honest um their 800 series is pretty much their top of the line anything else has sort of been an afterthought it seems like to them which is funny because oneplus said the same thing they said that flagships these days are being designed with all their energy and time, but then mid, uh, and then mid-range phones are kind of afterthought. So, if that's the case, are they also saying that Qualcomm has stopped making the mid-range series an afterthought? So that remains to be seen. Um, that's a pretty bold claim from Call Pay. So we'll see if that actually holds up. Um, again, I'm going to try to get my hands on it, and if I can, I'm really going to test it out. Because if it does not live up to their claims, all this marketing stuff they've been doing is basically like, this is like their last chance in my opinion. Because for the last few OnePlus devices, they've been charging you know, quite a bit of money for this. And you know, their marketing has always been pretty good. It's just that if their marketing does not match their product, then I'm out. So some of the other stuff that they talked about is more just like about the um, how things design, product design, pro product roadmaps, um, BOM or build materials, things of that nature. So related to manufacturing, and I don't really want to go into that, but if you guys want to watch it again, um, vids down below. Um, but I'm excited because uh, they showed an image of the OnePlus Nord. And so they have a Nord color and they also have a teal color. Um, looks like those are be the two colors that are gonna be coming out. And it's gonna look like pretty much just like a flagship OnePlus phone. Um, the camera array is gonna be on the side, so kind of like an iPhone um, 10 or 10s. So it's going to still have a clean modern design, but none of that super curved stuff. So if you're into that more, you know, less intense uh, curvature then this phone might be for you. Hopefully they'll make it for a global release at some point soon. But if not, I'm hoping that their connectivity modems will be able to work on uh, North American networks. So yeah, that's been it. I just wanted to put out a quick video just to um, put my first reactions and thoughts on this new release. Um, it's coming out, I think, the 21st. Um, so yeah, if anything, I'll see you guys later.